It's clear the pandemic sent the global economy into one of its worst recessions on record. The progress, though, on vaccines has now brightened the economic outlook somewhat. But what can we nevertheless expect from 2021? I've been speaking to the former chair of Goldman Sachs Asset Management, Lord Jim O'Neill, and for a view from China, Dr Li Wei, director of China Economy at Chong Kong Graduate School of Business. There are obviously uh, enormous uncertainties related to the ongoing uh, developments with this uh, virus, particularly in Western Europe and the Americas. But yes, I do. I expect a significant bounce back because of the discovery and rollout of vaccines. And which industries do you think could possibly lead that bounce back, that recovery? I think that's a very interesting question because it might start to change from what we saw in the second half of 2020. Uh, if the vaccine rollout is successful, and I emphasize if, then actually the sectors that have suffered the most uh, from COVID-19, uh, particularly travel and tourism, uh, by the second half of this year might actually be booming. And you can see some signs of hope about that in the way some stock market prices are, are behaving, both absolutely and relative to each other. But also in uh, link to that, the way some advanced bookings are being uh, conducted by optimistic consumers in many parts of the world. And where do you think we'll be in terms of global GDP by this time next year? I think, again, with the caveat, a lot depends on uh, what happens with these uh, vaccines, as well as, of course, the, the, the variants of the virus that we're currently experiencing. I think we're going to see a very strong period of economic activity uh, in 2021, particularly in the second half, but maybe, maybe starting as early as the spring and in some parts of the world, particularly Asia, led by China, already now. Uh, and I think we will have at least recovered most of what we lost in 2020. Uh, and on at least when the history books uh, show data for this period, 2021 will, will appear as one of the strongest years for economic growth ever. Although, of course, it will be coming on the back of one of the worst ones in 2020. The World Bank's China economic update predicts growth of just short of 8% for 2021. Well, here to tell us more is Dr. Li Wei, Director of China Economy at Chung Kong Graduate School of Business. Um, Li Wei, is 8% growth, is that achievable? Is that a realistic target? Based on the data we've seen so far, 8% uh, uh, looks um, pretty much on target. And I think uh, with the Chinese economy, uh, going on full steam uh, with the COVID-19 under control. And I think uh, uh, it looks uh, pretty good so far. That's a very rapid bounce back and a, a figure 8% the West can only dream of. Right. Would you single out any one particular sector which is driving growth in China in 2021? Right. Well, there are, in fact, as we see from the data, it's, a, uh, it's quite broad-based. Uh, I think one of the things we see in the West is that consumption in some sector has gone up, in particular with e-commerce. Uh, but, you know, any consumption related uh, to uh, close contact uh, had, had had a huge impact, right? But in China, since COVID-19 is under control, uh, we uh, largely, you know, have the restaurant in full again. I was trying to book a restaurant last night, and uh, I couldn't do it, right? Because it's uh, it's uh, I did it a few hours later, and 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 I tried to book the same restaurant tonight, and uh, I was unable to do it again. So it's uh, it is getting uh, uh, very much back to normal, and uh, in China, and it's still not fully normal. That's one of the reasons why for the coming uh, new year and 2021, uh, things look uh, even better. And I think if uh, uh, the you know the presumption is that the China is still going to have COVID-19 under control. So broadly, I think the Chinese economy is, is, is forecasted to do well uh, if the rest of the world uh, comes online uh, with the a rapid deployment of uh, uh, the vaccines uh, in many countries. And I think uh, 
the main story for the next for this coming year is how quickly can we get the vaccines uh, distributed and then inoculated and, and so on and so forth and have those things have many economies coming online simultaneously.